throughout your life, you've probably been exposed to hundreds of hours of stock photography, either here on YouTube, elsewhere around the web, or even when you're watching traditional media. Stock photography is usually characterized by the fact that it is a general image, it can be used for a variety of purposes, it's not specific to any one event or subject, and usually it's sold for a relatively low price, although some assets can cost you thousands of dollars. In a previous video, I teased that we could use DALI to generate stock footage-like images in the style of Picasso. If you don't know what DALI is, DALI is a image generation model by a company called OpenAI. You use it by entering text known as a prompt and getting back images. It's really that simple. Some people hate stock photography because it can be seen as being fake or staged. Others find the images to be of poor quality or simply not interesting. Besides the fact that DALI can generate stock photography images, I wanted to take it another level. You see, I still think stock photography has some value. I think it has decent composition, and if you look at how characters are arranged and how scenes are set up, there's some decent blocking going on. So I thought it'd be interesting to take the essence of stock photography and apply it to other various styles you may recognize. In this video, we're gonna find out. So I started in the music category with Michael Jackson, and right away I was blown away by some of the generations, the different colors being used. You can see a lot of the characters are in motion. Um, I'm not quite sure how much of this is influenced by stock photography, but it's still interesting nonetheless. By the way, I've gone with the description of a group brainstorming because I just think this is a classic kind of description you'd see for something on a stock photography site. This will be the description we'll use throughout this video. Right now we're looking at Picasso's line art style. Shout out to Hard Meru on Twitter who I, I saw came up with this prompt. This is a very simple style that does capture the essence of stock photography, I'd say pretty well. It's really fun to look at these images actually. Next, we're taking a look at one of the most prolific modern Japanese artists of all time. He's collaborated with Kid Cudi, Kanye West, and many more others. He's got a successful merch clothing line, Hypebeast brand. Uh, so it's just really fun seeing somebody's art style applied sort of in that stock photography kind of way. I still think there's some really, really interesting things going on here. As I'm sure you saw in my last video, I'm really big on maximalism. I think it's something that DALI 2 excels at. So it's kind of become a default now. I just type in in the style of maximalism just to see how it goes. And you can see here, we've got some really interesting results. This style is when you take a photo or video and then you trace over it. And we got, we got some interesting results. Like, you know, this is a nice twist on stock photography. I was really proud of this prompt, actually. I think it turned out really well. Next, I wondered how different industries and photography styles would approach stock photography. So this right here is in the style of fashion photography. And you can see how everyone just looks trendier, better dressed, cooler. There's certain charisma to each one of these characters. This is just a unique discovery. I, I was so excited to see these results. The M&M stuff turned out to look a lot more like album art, but still cool, I guess. Next, I was curious about stock photography in a historical angle, so here we have it in the style of communism. Art Deco is a super underrated Dali 2 prompt style. Uh, I found that these generations are always fun, always interesting, detailed. And definitely for these, you can see the influence of stock photography in them. I think it's a refreshing take on a stock photograph. I could see different companies maybe even using this. I actually want to explore this style even further.
This was another interesting industry experiment. Apparently architects spend all their time drawing, <laughs> but I still think this is cool and still kind of taps into the influence of stock photography. I'm really proud of the way these turned out. Finally, I wondered how the company behind a lot of the digital media arts creative tools software, or how stock photography would look in their style. These are also interesting results. If you're interested in taking a look at the original high full resolution images which Dali generated, which were used in this video, I'm gonna be posting them on my Twitter account. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video and are subscribed to my channel for more upcoming videos on DALI 2. See you in the next one.